One commodity, though, that's booming is lithium. It's the metal used as a key element in many next-generation batteries, and demand is expected to grow even further because of the increasing popularity of electric cars. Now, our next guest is the boss of a leading exploration company, Wealth Minerals. The firm shifted its focus towards lithium projects this year, anticipating a big growth in demand for those technologies. And it's specifically pushing in Chile in particular, which has one of the largest lithium reserves in the world. Well, Wealth Minerals has specifically highlighted Tesla, which is currently building a huge gigafactory in Nevada to manufacture batteries for its electric cars. Uh, Wealth Minerals says that demand for lithium will be big uh, and it will be given a big boost by the factory when it does come online. Well, we've got the company's boss, Henk van Alphen, who is with us in the studio. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank, you. You for, thank you for having me here. So, you've been in this business for quite some time. Um, though, seems to be the new kid on the block, in a way, when yes. it comes to, to mining. And you're focusing very much on Chile as the place to dig it up. Tell us more. Well, Chile is in, uh, most of the lithium in the world comes from, comes from brines or, or most of the reserves in lithium are in brines and the place to be for brine lithium, which is the low cost producing uh, lithium in the world, happens to be what they call the golden triangle of lithium, which is Argentina, Bolivia and Chile. Chile, by some fluke of nature, just happened to have the highest grade lithium brines in the world and, and so that's why we as a company focused on, on Chile. Uh, and just to be clear, brine, as far as I understand it, is effectively a, a type of salt water. Yes, like the, the, the dry lakes that are existing in the high Andes. And because of evaporation, you just see an increase in, in lithium concentration. So if it's so easy, if it's just sitting on the surface and it's quite easy to get hold of, why are we seeing prices rising in quite the way we, that we are? I mean, an extraordinary level of uh, rise in prices. Well, the, the, you know, supply has to catch up with demand here. So there is an enormous increase in demand for obvious reasons. I mean, timing is everything. Now we're talking about a nuclear power plant that's being approved. So, you know, alternative forms, or forms of energy here. So the world is changing dramatically, and lithium batteries are part of this. And, and it's an enormous in growth industry. And, and, the, and the supply of lithium is going to have to catch up at some point. And also as well, and just for our viewers' information, I mean, the lithium batteries are in so many devices we're using all the time. Is yeah, that right? Yeah. Smartphones, tablets, yeah, and there not an, just electric an, cars. Yeah, and there's an amazing increase in that. But the, really, the big increase is going to come from electric cars. China is going to be a huge uh, market for that. Electric buses, I mean, you know, you go to these world, uh, you know, humongous cities in the world, they're all polluted, yeah? So electric buses, electric trucks, you name it, and it's firing lithium batteries. But just to explain, you're a Vancouver-based company. Yeah. Uh, you decide you're going to go for lithium in a, ma in a major way in Chile. How, how do you make that happen? You've got to work uh, with, with uh, government, local uh, organizations. You need a man on the inside, don't you? Yes, I, I, I did. Uh, I have been working in South America for like 25 years, so I have lots and lots of connections. And one of my connections was a person called Marcelo Awad. We've been friends for several years. And I opened up the idea that maybe Wealth should be, you know, focusing on the lithium potential in, in Chile. And I, I discussed this with him, and he saw the same potential that I saw. So he joined the company, and it's been a pleasure ever since. But regardless of the relationships that you have, when the oil price is collapsing and we're seeing the lithium price rise, surely there's not the same incentive, profit incentive, for governments or policymakers to really start investing in alternative forms of energy uh, just quite yet. Well, no, that, that's kind of an economic pressure, but I don't think that's going to change. The, the world is polluted. I mean, cities need to clean up their acts, and that's where most people live, let's say. So I think governments have no choice. They just have to go with, with renew, renewable sources of energy. So we're, we, we have a long ways to go here. So, so there's a, this is a huge growth industry. And so where else are you going to look in the future? Where else no, is we'll, there we'll, stay, we'll stay focused on Chile for, for as a company. All right. We appreciate your time today. Oh, Very yeah. interesting. Thank you so we'll much. We'll keep an Thanks. eye. Thanks. Okay.